go live in five. There are two tanks. Hey, hey guys, tank here. Uh, yes, there is two tanks. Uh, we are live on YouTube, and uh, oh, Jake left us or something. He got scared. I guess he got scared. G uh, Jake was just in here with us, and now uh, he's not. Anyways, how are you doing, guys? I got a well for you guys. It's uh, under there. I think it's there. No, let me point it the right way. I'm looking at the YouTube video down there in the corner. Uh, there's a big friggin' long box. <laughs> in that box is a flatbed tra trailer from uh, Cross RC. They say it's ready to run, but it's not really ready to run. I think it's about 80, 85%. And we're going to go into that room and um, see that opened up. And uh, 907 Arctic says, hi, Brian, because he's there. Uh, hi, Brad. And hi, Lyle. Blind guy, blind guy says, hey, guys. And I'm going to take some tools next door and my iPad so I can actually see the chat. So I'm just going to cross the door to the other room because I don't have room. enough room in this on this desk for that big trailer. How long is it? Uh, it's about five feet long. Holy cow. It's the length of a person. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a short person, but still. And it's 10th scale. That's that's huge. Let me turn on my microphone, put up the audio for this thing. That's handy. That thing's huge for 10 scale. Oh, That's yes, it is. That's what she said. Length of a short person. Oh, this thing is friggin' massive. Wish I could get a tape measure to measure it for you guys, but you can see like how long this thing is. So let me just show you real quick what's in the package. I did kind of do a kind of unboxing with it a while back. Um, can I present myself? Is it metal and wood? Can I spotlight? No, uh, it's actually, uh, I think there is some metal in there, but um, it's probably, it's just Lexan more than anything. Yeah, just Lexan, uh, not Lexan, but ABS plastic. Hey, Brad, I'm sure it weighs something too. Brad? Brad. Yes. Can you see the chat? No. Me neither. <laughs> so if anybody's saying anything in the chat, nobody's reading it. <laughs> so Lyle, something that's that big in ABS plastic, it probably weighs a good sum of weight. Well, no, ABS, ABS isn't all that heavy, I don't think. No, it's, well, it's not that heavy. Uh, mm -hmm. I can lift this with one hand, no problem. But it is thick ABS, though. That's why I say it's probably heavy. It's thick ABS. It is It'll be thick. lighter than a metal one. Oh, yeah. yeah it'll be lighter than a metal oh, yeah. one, but I bet you it still weighs five pounds. That's not bad for a trailer, though. <clears throat> one that size. Put some stuff up, up across on the other side. Here's some stuff. Like this thing is huge. I'm six foot tall. Let me put the camera up. So I'm six foot. And if I take this out of the box and put it on the ground, you can see it comes up too close to my chin. <laughs> it's like the proper hockey stick length for you. Oh, yeah. So let me take off some of the stuff out of here. 
Wonder what the guy's yes. gonna say with it. This is heavy. All the rims. Tires. More tires. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine tires. Uh, that'll two. weigh that'll weigh ten pounds when it's all put together. Nine. At least. There. Why that'll is there weigh. no tires? Is there a spare tire? Yes. One and a half a spare. <laughs> two spare tires. Basically two, two spare, spare tires for this. Um, seven tires. There's let me bring that back down. So that's that's 12th scale because it's going to be towed by a mammoth. That is correct. And it's still huge as heck. That is correct. Like I can take it. it scale. I can put a one tenth scale tank on here to show you actually how it's going to look. Uh, but basically, I have to put the rear legs on here. Uh, all the little scale items, all the little scale stuff are there. Everything's attached. I have to attach the front legs for it. And attach the rear legs and do all the electronics, put all the bead locks together. Are you going to have to paint it? Uh, nope. I am not painting it. Somebody else is painting it. For him, the, whoever's building the mammoth will be painting it. Just imagine yeah. if that was 10th scale, Frank, it'd be taller than you. I'm on this side now, just to spotlight the... Okay, now I get why there's two tanks. <laughs> yeah, so... There we go. Frank, if it was 10 scale, I'd be taller than you. Probably. <laughs> hey, Tank, can you take a minute and take a look at the chat and see if you need to answer some questions? Yeah. None of us can see it but you. Say, none of us, Brad and I. Brad and I. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you've become me for temporarily. Yeah. This thing looks yeah. small. Yeah. Uh, Blind Guy says, Oh, Lyle, I have a 24 scale uh, athlete sand ladder being. being oh, nice. The one from Rathus Radioactive? I guess he did. Nice. Sweet. Cheers, I, buddy. I, I did want to bring up the FMS. Uh, that new uh, rock hobby uh, 10 scale Jeep. But man, Imagine. this tank looks small on there. I believe this is a 110 scale tank. But I think it's 116 scale. Yeah, it's probably 116 because it's the, usually a tank would be on the side of it, but like there's still a lot of room. Like it doesn't even cover. Wow. Oh. But you shouldn't uh, mistaken just because it's 16 scale that it isn't large. Well, the the tank, which is kind of cool, is made. They have these stoppers here right in the center and the inside track fits perfectly on here. Therefore, the tank cannot go on like slide off. It's kind of cool the way they made it. Hmm. So, Lyle, what do you think of the mesh again? Bring it back. I like it. It's They say it's 10 scale, but it's a little bit bigger than that, they say. I haven't seen anything, well, except for the video where it shows like a human hand, but a human hand is a human hand. It's tough to tell how big the dude is, right? So his hand could be large or small, but it looks like a, a little bit bigger than the Tamaya YJ. And I love the Tamiya YJ. I didn't like the CCO one chassis. I put it on uh, an RC four wheel drive, short wheelbase chassis. And I love right. that truck. I had to sell it before I left Calgary there. Broke my heart. I love that truck. But uh, uh, I love YJs. I love that Jeep. Uh, it's a shame the doors don't seem to open. It no, looks like do. the back opens and the hood opens, but the no. uh, the doors don't for some reason. Osborne no. RC says, uh, uh, Lyle, good evening, sir. Lyle, I've seen the video more. Uh, some more video. It is ten. It, the doors do open on it. 
Oh, do they? They didn't show yes. it on their own video, like on F FMS's uh, YouTube channel. They put up a video, but they didn't the show the doors opening on it. Then well, the people who have it have shown that the doors open. Well, that's uh, good. They, they, yeah, you that's know why true. they call you know the the man. Uh, you know why they call it the Michigan because they couldn't call it the Jeep YJ because the guy who made the YJ in real life was named Michigan. Oh, okay. Yeah, isn't that cool? Fun facts with Brad. But yeah, it's, a Brad it's a worthwhile fact. fun fact. <laughs> oh, I remember back in the day we wanted to call you Cliff. <laughs> Cliff. No, but it, but remember it, from, it, from it, Cheers? It, yeah, yeah. So it, this is the tire for the Mammoth, which is pretty big. It's like a 2.2. Kind of a balloon tire, and this is a tire for the trailer. And it's an off road tire. Yep. Well, military off road. The mammoths are going to have tires like that. The mammoth's going to have a tire like that, isn't it? Well, it's got a tire like this one. So this actually fits in the front here. One tire goes there in the front, and the other one goes there. So. Build those, but I think I'll start with the thing in the front. And I do have all this metal is friggin' heavy. Let me tell you, it's heavy. You have a scale that you can weigh this thing with when you're done. When I'm done, probably yeah. Well, I gotta the scale upstairs. Yes. So here's the two motors with the board, the controller board with all the long wires to go all the way to the back. So uh, the ramps at the back are motorized, and then I got to run the wire all the way to the front. Oh, there's electrical involved, eh? Oh, yeah. Kurt and Keith coming in. Okay. Does it have stands on the front that, that are motorized? So Kurt, we have, No, the front stands are not motorized. Oh no. I have C clips, a lot of C clips to insert. <laughs> uh, uh, you you e know clips what? Are e -clips. Dad, you don't have that tool that I have. It would make life a lot easier with all those clips. Oh, the front uh, the front uh, arms or legs are actually metal. Must be C clips. Yeah, C clips, E clips, everybody e -clips. have a different name for them. A -P Every kind of clip. <laughs> well, they are different. A C clip and an E clip are different. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, they truly look like the letters. letters. E clip is just a ring where the E clip has a little tongue in the center of the ring that has to fit into a slot. One looks like an E and the other one looks like a it's C. Like a C, yeah, yeah, a couple of letters, right? <laughs> So the manual really starts off by showing off all the parts. There's a lot of parts. When you, gotta, when you get this trailer from scratch, uh, not ready to run, this is the ready to run version. Wow. And, uh, but it is not ready to run. You still got to put the axles together. You still got to put the tires together. But the platform is pretty well made. But when you buy this, not assemble as a kit, you got to glue everything together. It would be cool to actually do, but this is the way I got this one. So one of the first steps they do tell you to put is the bead locks together, but we're not going to do this tonight. We're probably going to do other So, things. Tank, that's glued, not screwed, huh? <laughs> that is correct. Wow. So we'll start with the axles. There must be some kind of special glue you have to get. The ABS glue. Uh, you can pre pretty much use any kind of ABS glue, but I'm going to use the ABS plumber's glue like uh, they use for plumbing. Yeah. That frigging glue is strong. So they do want you to paint it, but I'm going to assemble everything and then whoever's going to paint this thing is probably going to paint it all the same color like military or else he's going to have to take it apart and paint it. But I'm just going to put everything together. Here's the rear axle. This is just one side of the rear axle. So it's kind of interesting the way it actually goes. 
I find all my parts. Oh, really? So this this bag is pretty heavy, but that's the the axle ones, which I thought was the front arms, but are not. Hey, Kurt, can you see the chat? Yeah, I can. can. you hear a chat, man? Because nobody else can see the chat and tanks. Been... <laughs> Bunch of losers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle. Uh, Psycho Cage says everybody to everyone. Uh, hi to everyone. Psycho uh, Cage. Psycho 13 Garage. Psycho 13 Garage. I don't know why I keep calling him Psycho Cage 13. That French. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. RC Recreation is in there. 907 still there. It's early for him. He's like, what? Five, six hours behind us, Alaska. Swampers no, I, is talking I think he's ahead of us. Ahead? No. No, he's later because I, um, let's ask him, 907. Our time is about 949. What time is it where you are? Curtis D, what's happening? Unknown says hello. Man. Hey, I know. Middle. RCB, what's up? More metal. Maybe I might have to do the beat locks first. Darn. Probably take you forever, though. Oh, there's a lot of screws. I, if I start doing beat locks, I'm going to take my uh, screw gun out, my drill. Well, I smoked the motor in the King Hauler. 549, so he's an hour before me, I guess. <laughs> 549 right now. 549, okay. Yeah, 20 donuts is just too many for the King Hauler. Oh, and the motor, the motor stopped working after that? It, it didn't stop. It got really super hot, smoky, smelling really bad. But okay. I stopped it. I haven't started it yet, though. It might be okay. Oh, you haven't tried it yet? No, I haven't tried it yet. Some places it tells me to use Loctite. Some others it doesn't. So, Joe, yeah. The deck was built. <clears throat> I, I, I like the Loctite that came with my fighting buggy because it's a, like not the liquid. It's like gum. Yeah, it's easier to use. It doesn't, it's not as messy. Yeah. The stuff that came with this was like gum almost. It's like, oh, man. Yeah, and bread, right? Yeah. Hey, Queenie. They want you to glue this, but I think it's already glued. So. Okay. Psycho hey. set. Oh, North Rock. Okay. I got my stands in the mail. Hey, Keith, you're... you're, you're uh... Semi needs uh, dental care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's got uh, gingivitis really bad. <laughs> Swampers wants to know how many turns motor that was. Keith, uh, I have no idea what's the stock on that. You guys know 27 the, turn, it's 27 turn, 27. <laughs> Do you know which gear you were using? Yeah, it was third. Ah! third gear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was hauling. <laughs> oh yeah, it loves the donuts, but it, only twenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> only twenty of them. Yeah. I don't even do twenty in my basher because I know it's going to get all hot. <laughs> uh, Eleven, two, two or five. These see cross R C. What they do is they put all their screws in a bag with numbers. So eleven, two or five, and there was a bunch of screws here. So you just, but sometime, which I don't like, is there's three numbers on this bag. Oh. So I guess they do that to save room or whatever, but some, this is not bad. The screws are very much different length, but sometimes they're very close to the same length. So it kind of sucks when they're in the same bag. Yeah. 
you got to get that thing from Eric. He gave me that thing that measures the screws. That thing's awesome. Oh, yeah? And just drop it on there, and it measures how long it is. They don't have a chart on the side tank? They what? Do they have a chart on the side, like the Tamayas, that yes. have measures the screws? I'm not sure if they, the, these are to scale, but yes, they do have a chart here on the side that actually tells you. Uh, Spin rush, what's happening, buddy? Hey, it's been a while, man. Uh, somebody asked a couple questions there. A tank, je suis la banane. Oh, really? What do you say in French? <laughs> Uh, he says, um, "A tank, I am the banana." <laughs> <laughs> so in French, banana kind of sounds like you're saying it in, in, in uh, banana. Banana, yeah. Banana. Yeah, you get uh, the uh, idea from that. just from the sound of it. You know, it's a banana. Spin rush is in there also. Um, are you doing spin rush? He says, uh, "Long time no see, you guys." So coming on here, you should have the invite. Hey, spin rush. Uh, he's, Joe says that looks nice. I have a Tamaya flat deck, and I know the cross flat deck is very similar. But half the cost. What you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, on that wealth. <laughs> yeah. Big difference in size. Oh yeah. 14 and 12 is very big difference. Oh, he got a new position in his job. That's, That's why what she says spin rush. Uh, he used to get on his computer in his office and watch us listen to us. Glad you're here, Keith. Too loud. There were so many of those at the beginning. Oh, you missed it. Jeez. You have, you have to go back and watch the beginning. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah. Tanks going on about you guys should see how big this is. I wish I could show you guys how big this is. It's huge. Oh, your your new apartment. I had a little problem with my microphone. I mean, my earphones. I accidentally put them in the um, Loctite, so they had Loctite all over them. Oh, so, <laughs> them at, at, least, at least Lyle, you're warm. <laughs> at least you're not cold. Loctite on your headphones. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful because be, some right? Loctite, some Loctite actually eats plastic, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, I was more worried about it eating my earlobe than the plastic. So be worried about your eardrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, who knows what these things are called for trucks there? Oh, I think that's I think and the air air thing be the hydraulic air, airbags, right. airbag shocks, right? Yeah, I think they're for the airbag shocks. Yeah, yeah. They're just called airbags. Airbags, yeah, not shocks, but where's Dennis or, or Cross RC Guru? Uh, Queenie's in the chat. Uh, she says, "Tell Nugget, I said, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Nugget, H O. She H -O. called you a hoe. She oh. called you a hoe. Nugget. So, yeah, how, bitch? You how you been, Lyle? <laughs> I haven't heard you in a while. Seen you in a while. Uh, I'm still living. That's the main thing. And more where he wants to be, anyways. Technically." <laughs> Well, th things have been going good. It's good to be with family and all that jazz. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. And you but uh, I hit another hurdle, if you will, or numerous hoops I need to jump through again about three days ago. And it's <laughs> life just <laughs> fucking hammering on you sometimes, and you just got to keep getting up. And that's what I'm working on again. Fuck. Yeah. Well, at, least you, at least you're working like you want to be. <sighs> yep. You're right. Yeah, at least you don't give up and you keep trying. And no, nope. Lyle got back up from being the bottom and he's climbed his way to the top again. I damn near gave up at the beginning of this year. January, February, March were really tough. <laughs> I damn near gave up then. I borderline did. Mm -hmm. But man, no, there's no quitting this guy. Just got to keep fighting, keep getting no. up every.
They can not like your dog. Like your dog. I can't keep up with Molly anymore. <laughs> she's like a pup now, isn't she? I gave her those. She's got those CBD treats, and uh, she was a uh, almost a sixty pound dog. She's a forty pound dog now. She jumps two or three feet off the ground when she sees me after a day of work, and oh, she geez. wants to play fetch. My arm gets sore. My fucking forty five year old shoulder is like, I can't throw this toy anymore. Well, let's play a war. Let's play something different. <laughs> And she's and, whining and crying that she wants to play. Like, she's a jackrabbit now. I'm thinking about taking the drugs away from her. <laughs> she, uh, she's got the opposite reaction of what most people do when they smoke pot. <laughs> there no, it's yeah. the CBD treats. Like, I thought it was uh, not a hoax. What's the word? A gimmick. I thought it was a gimmick. CBD treats for your dog would change his life and whatever. And uh, Molly's hips were done. Like, in May... June, July, like I thought I Molly's time was coming. Like she's gonna have to be put down because she can barely stand up on her own. But now two weeks, two weeks, three weeks of CBD treats, goddamn puppy again. She's mm. seven or eight years old again, six, seven mm. years old again. Like she I, runs. Like I let her out of the vehicle and she chases me down the road. Like and she I'm jumps, she can jump into uh, the avalanche without yeah. any. I used, have to, that I used to have to help her get in out of the car. <laughs> I you know, changed the view to yeah, speaker perfect. view, so you guys can, when you talk now, you'll be highlighted. So it's on speaker view right now. Uh, it, so it, it seems like that type of stuff, it does the opposite. It doesn't make the animal laid back. It makes them more active. Oh, yeah, man. She's she's a new dog. Like, I'm, I, I have no doubt I'm getting many more years out of her now because I thought she was going to be put down this year, like... She could barely get, she couldn't get in and out of the car. Like I have a Kia Forte. It's a little compact car and she couldn't get in and out of that on her own. And now she can jump in and out of the avalanche, like a half done truck. Oh, that's no a lot different. Yeah. And she runs and runs and doesn't always listen. She pretends she's deaf. I think she pretends she's deaf, but she's like, I can play this guy now. I'm old. I can pretend I'm deaf. Fuck him. <laughs> I've lost seven pounds, by the way. Oh, yeah? Good. Yep. Did you get a haircut? No, I need <laughs> Ah, Brad, I haven't seen you in so long. I know. We only saw each other, what, almost two weeks ago? I don't recall. Yes. Briefly. We saw each other briefly uh, one or two weeks ago. You didn't stay on long, but you were there. Was it some kind of meeting? Oh, it was online. Okay. Yes. It was like Zoom. But you didn't stay. I had my hair grown out, and I went to Connecticut and got it cut with my dad. I used to do that every couple of years when we visited, and I freaked okay. the hairstylist out. I, she cut it all off, and I got up. I'm like, man, I'm really lightheaded. Oh, God, what's going on? <laughs> She's like, oh, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> What color did you paint your hair when you were a kid? I was always been black until it turned gray. <laughs> what color? Oh, or how many colors is it? It's just now? brown and black. The black's growing out. So didn't you have like some purple or something going on? No, green. green, 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 no purple. Yeah, green. And it's black. all gone. It's growing out. It grows out fast. Are you gonna do it again? Maybe. Always mohawk, though. You know what I'm thinking? I'm going to make a tow truck out of this King Hauler when I'm not using the trailer on it. So you'll do a deck on it that looks like a tow truck? Yeah. Okay. There, I got one axle kind of done. It goes pretty quick. Is that, a pla is that plastic or metal? It's all metal. The only thing that's plastic, the only thing that's plastic is the uh, gray part. Everything else is metal. Oh, the, the, the black made it look plastic, but it's metal. <laughs> yeah, the big part in the middle, I believe it's cast iron. <laughs> that's so my that, way more than 10 pounds when it's done, Frank. Frank, uh, Tank, that's supposed to be the suspension, but it's they they don't work. So how does nope. that go up and down? Do they? Do they no, work? It, it does work, yes. The airbags work. work? It's a no, teeter no, The airbags don't work, but it's okay. a teeter totter, yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> it's probably how it's going to work. It's going to be in the center. There are a couple of the, the mammoth, the, L, uh, the mammoth, uh, I think the mammoth with the fully independent suspension has a, like a teeter totter suspension all the way around. The way they hook uh, each a, a uh, arm. Oh, the, the mammoth is all independent. Every single axle on the mammoth is independent. It is not teeter totter on the mammoth. Oh, I, I know that they make mammoths that are live axles too. Live axle? Meaning it's a solid rear end, a rigid axle. No, not from Cross RC, not that one, not a mammoth. There is someone who has a mammoth that has uh, rigid axles that are wheel drive. It's, it's not a mammoth then, it's, they call it something else because they don't come like that. That's what she said. They don't come rigid. No. You have to get them that way. <laughs> Special request costs you more money. <laughs> they want me to put the wheels on there right away, which is kind of odd, but I won't. That, that that's that's why they wanted you to do the, the wheels. That's and why, because you didn't build the wheels. They want you to put them on there. I'll put them on there. No rush. They're just uh, like the Tamaya's plastic bleed locks. You screw them, put them together like that. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Now I'm going to go from page nine all the way to page because they're telling you a lot of things like where to glue all these panels, but everything is already done. Yeah. How many pages is the manual? Not that big. Uh, 30 page. Did that course more almost ready to run or in a kit? The same price. It's the same price. What? It's the same price. Why wouldn't anybody buy the? I don't know. I if they're the same price, I don't want to do the work. I mean, give me the other one, right? You want <laughs> you want the, you went to you technically want the ARR, which what Frank had. Let's go look. Uh, go look. That, that would be kind of almost ready to run. I've seen people use that moniker for for RCs. Hey, it's in a different room now. Wow. And then the one below that is slider. Know that uh, I didn't look it up earlier. Uh, share my screen, share screen. The new. XT4 is now in stock. How is the by win that tomorrow? Oh, from Sean? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's Does putting he it in. So uh, not that much cheaper. Uh, here's the kit for $449.99. And the almost ready to run is $499.99. So you're saving about 50 bucks. There you there you go, Lyle. <laughs> That's 50 bucks blue, no, too. No, That's blue and all that shit. Wait, yeah. wait. It's not the same trailer. <laughs> this is the trailer I'm building. This is the, not the, that's not the trailer I'm building. This is the trailer I'm building. I'd spend 50 bucks more though. Oh my God. It's eight twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. It's almost as much as the vehicle itself. Yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> A nice trailer and it fits a, a full 12 scale uh, yeah. mammoth on it yeah and there's a two spare tires like i mentioned earlier one smaller than the other what's up ck hobby shop um now if i go to military truck just to see Brad, just so you know, this is the Mammoth. There's another 8x8. This has solid axle. That's what I was talking about. It looks a lot like a Mammoth, but it is not a Mammoth. Like the, the way this cab is and the way this cab is, it's close. But this is fixed axle, well, solid axle. 
but this one actually has um, yeah the independence independent suspension at the back which is really cool are they both the same length i believe they are so, so it'd be fun to have both of them because i there's a guy who actually has both of them who does videos with them i think he has I, both. I, I want i want all of them but I you want that amphibious one you want that eight wheel drive fib, amphibious one yeah the one i would love to get would be uh it's probably on the next page where'd it go it's not even there Oh, it's the second one. That one, it's yeah. the amphibious one. Yeah. So what's the size of this one? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Ooh, mud. So it turns. Does it have the size written somewhere? Get and I agree mode. with you, Mass Master. 32, 32 inches long. And how much is how long is the other one, you think? See the this is 32 inches long and the trailer is well over 60. That's a yeah. good two thousand dollars, right? I mean, yeah, with everything, all the control, yeah, 32 yeah. by 12 by eight. I'll save up two thousand dollars. 32 by 16 <laughs> by 10. So the mammoth is a little bit bigger, but the same length. So the mammoth is probably wider. The other one has a shorter wheel pace. Yeah. But if I go to... Uh, you would like to have all three, Frank. I know that. You'd like to put together all three. I'd like to put them Absolutely. all together. but <laughs> One day, Frank. <laughs> uh, almost 58 inch long once it's done. Huh. 58 inches long. That's why when you look at the, you look at it from on there, like the truck is a little smaller, shorter. It's say, a 36 inch. This is 58 inches long. Yeah. That's why that other truck fits on it perfectly. Yeah. There's a mammoth that's on, on it. I bet you the handling characteristics are different for the both of them, too, uh, since, you know. They would be. I would definitely think the uh, mammoth would, would handle better on pavement. There. Now I can go back on the other side and keep working. I'm like, to my better, king, better do the rims carry and tires, my mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mammoth with my Tamaya King Hauler. Oh, your your King Hauler would easily fit on that trailer. No, I'm going to tow my mammoth with the King Hauler when I make it into a tow truck. Yeah, it's all metal. It's weird when I go from one room to the other, I hear the phone on one side and the computer on one side, and there's a little bit of a delay. Remind me like <laughs> Mr. Rogers when I seen you walk. That's why you got to delete door, your so. music <laughs> computer. Here's the music. Ding, dong, ding. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head, but it, it reminded me when you went through there. I because when he comes in. Uh, at, at the top of the, the stairs. Door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it does not have any shocks or anything for that rear suspension. It's just cantilevers, like just loose. That's its suspension, the Peter Todd or cantilever. Yeah. This big guy around. Oh my God, this is going to be heavy later. This is going to be heavy. I'm thinking it's going to be more than 10 pounds, Frank, when you're all when it's all said and done. I don't know. Okay, I need some long friggin' screws. 325. 25 millimeters. Three of them. Those are some long screws. 11, 12, oh, friggin' screws. Ah! 25 millimeters is long per screw on, on, on our, in our hobby. That went the, uh... That's what she said. Yeah. But it has to be a, um... Yeah. 
It has to be a Canada, she said, because we you don't have millimeters down here. That's weird, eh? It's a U.S. kit, <laughs> but it's all the screws are in millimeters, metric. Go figure. You guys also use. You guys sometimes use inches and centimeters too. So. That's because we don't have a choice because your stuff comes in inches. <laughs> you also, but you also get uh, tape, you also get tape measures. <laughs> you also get tape measures with. Um, oh yeah, but again, that's because it's made in the U.S. Hey, I just found the shaft. That's what she said. Now let's play with the shaft and install it. Keep it friendly. Keep it family friendly. <laughs> it's a brass bushing for the suspension. They don't supply you bearings. Brass bushing. Is it is it possible to get a ball bearing to fit it? You probably could put two ball bearings in there. I've got a shirt on now. Uh, you know, looking for other metal parts. Where the heck are they in my plates? Looking through the bags for some plates. Are they all marked A, B, C, D, and F2 tank, or...? No. Some bags don't even have anything. Wow. <clears throat> well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, you know. Like this bag does not have any drawings on it, but the plates I'm looking you for. You know what they bottom. look like, right? Yeah. So there's nothing, but that's the plates I'm looking for. That's going to be I mean, one hell of a first kit if you're if that's your first kit. Swampers leading. See you later, Swampers. Hi, Bill. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Swampers. Kurt, are you still reading the chat on the important matters? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody important in that chat. No. No. <laughs> That's fighting words to them. RC Mouse Masters in there. Probably Queenie's. No, RC Rex said our money is worth crap. So the way the suspension works, this is actually against on one side, and then you got the plate that I was showing, which is going to be on the other side, and and this is threaded over here, so it's going to actually going to lock and sandwich in between. And that's where the suspension is going to kind of go on. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> to hang Kurt. <laughs> and they uh. do not want me to use thread lock. I expect is are you building this for yourself, Tank, or no, no, this okay. is for SPCRC. Okay. Yeah. I like the skulls on the pipes of the truck. Thank you. Spin rush. <clears throat> Who's the chick next to the truck? Uh it's just a barbarian girl. She's on the she's gonna go on the tanker. She's gonna be the machine gunners, right? Uh, crossbowist, yeah. Oh, Crossbow's crossbow. Up here. Crossbow up here. She's going to sit on top of the crossbow. Oh, I mean, not on top of it, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go like that. I had to put a shirt on before I showed you. There you go. <laughs> That's going on the tanker. Crossbow actually works. Uh no, it would, but I'm I I put a the stoop I put a leaf spring on there. I shouldn't have put a leaf spring. I should have waited. Sean sent me some single leaf springs, but I didn't know that before I put this one on there. So it would have worked if I would have had a regular little uh, uh leaf spring. Sean sent me okay. a little softer one, huh? Yeah, because this was this was a Tamaya leaf spring, so. But it does all work, the trigger mechanism and everything. Anyone remember Tank Girl? Yes. yes. Yep. 
I actually watched that movie a little while back. I think I have it in my DVD collection. Didn't they have mutant dogs in there too? Joe said he just watched it. Cube, something like that, was a mutant dog. Can't remember. Mutant man, yeah. I'm sure they had, I think they had dogs in there that were men. men That's what it's supposed to be there, Spin Rush. It's supposed to be part of Mad Max. Yeah. From Fury Road? No, from uh, the, uh, just the Mad Max. Because I got the tanker too, so. They were kangaroo things. Kangaroo got, yeah, they were kangaroo things, yeah. Kangaroo things? Kangaroo Mass got Master. men, yeah. That's true that uh, Mad Max was originally from us on, in Australia. Yeah. Yep. The first, the Mad Max, the first movie Mad Max, they had to dub it. The Australia accent was so bad, they had to dub it into English. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She was in the orange. It's the new black. Yikes. <laughs> She's a little gangster. I bet you Justin can't can't wait to get this trailer at his house. Well, that was a Brad Fax. Sorry, Tank. What was oh that was what you did? Yeah. <laughs> Just like I did a Brad fact before uh, before we got on with uh, with uh, Kyle, the new Michigan from uh, Rock Hobbies. It, it was actually <coughs> YJ. What his last name was Michigan. Two parts are done. So you know we would talk about RC reviews, uh, the two Oriental guys. There, yeah, the Asian guy, yeah, yeah. That last, I just watched the one. It might have been a couple of weeks ago, but that thing he had on there, man, crazy. The Outlander, whatever. It what had he solar. Have? He had it. Uh, it looked like a Toyota truck. Oh, oh but it I was know what crazy. You're about. It was so detailed. Had uh, um solar power you had a boat on it and a bike and you move the boat and had a solar power on the top of it and you're like what is that an rc yeah it was an rc he based it after the uh isuzu d d max they have a d max that's like that had a pop-up tent all kinds of stuff yeah that what i'm thinking of is the same thing on the d max That's something I would like to see Lyle have. Lyle would like that. What? You would like all that stuff that gave all that realistic stuff on it. It's like I didn't finish it, Brad. Did he build all that stuff? Yes. You know? Yeah. I didn't finish it. I was at the dollar store. So. Yeah, that was all put together. That that that's like what the type of stuff that Asian guy does. That uh, guy, I think he's. From Indonesia. Well, let me that. tell you, I'm happy I did not put the tires on, because for me to get access access to that uh, uh, eclip would be a pain in the butt if the tires were on. Yeah, I, I could see I could see Lyle having that vehicle that guy made. Yeah, that thing was really nice, man. go in already I, didn't, I did not even feel it go in yeah that's what she said uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. damn centimeters or millimeters or whatever kind of millimeters, <laughs> millimeters yeah it's, it's great millimeters. <laughs> millimeters. <laughs> that clip just went in like butter <laughs> How long did you get the, 
what? What everybody was talking at the same time? Yeah, two people. I was wondering how long it's going to take you to do that, Frank. I have no idea. That are you in a, are you in a hurry? I heard that click. Yeah, that one. I heard the click also. But uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, Overland. What was that? A little closer. Too bad I can't zoom in. Oh, uh, it was the RC to... Overland Solar Power Toyota Tacoma RC truck. Yeah, check that out, Kurt. That's freaking crazy, man. That guy, if he takes it to uh, for for best of show, that would probably oh, win. Oh yeah, show. it would win. Yeah. yeah, it would win best of show. It's an Element RC truck too. I like to know where he got that boat. It was looked like an aluminum boat. Was it a rowboat or a powerboat? It's a rowboat. Okay. But there we go. The suspension is installed in the rear. And there That's you go. The power side. center lever. It's a I rowboat, see, but uh, you could put a motor on the back like one of those little. Yeah, it was like tin, a fishing boat. Ten boats. So, yeah. I think what? 20 horsepower is the biggest you could put on something like that? Yeah, something like that. Without it sinking. But you can zoom in. It's just a little I was uh me and my brother-in-law were fishing in one of them boats and I jumped out and he's like, pull it on the shore. And I pulled it and he was standing next to the edge and he went boosh right off backwards into the water. <laughs> a little awkward to zoom in, but I can zoom in. Frank's got his whole house wired. For yeah. right. <laughs> well, I'm using my cell phone here. Uh, and this, I do it when I do the builds. What's on the table, Frank? A, la a little laptop or something? My iPad. iPad. <clears throat> okay, so that's done. That's done. I guess I can install the front legs. I'm surprised you didn't have to grease that. No, no grease. Um, I, I find sometimes some stuff, uh, if you put grease and you run them in sand, it's just going to gum up. But if you leave it dry, it doesn't gum up as much. You, you could use dry lube. That would work. That's what she said. JD's RC, <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, Tank, uh, Tank decided to go on and build this thing. Yeah. Apparently it was a university project, so the so that his son probably did it for school because of the solar power and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they should take it to like down to Florida next year. They they'd win award with that best of show. <clears throat> oh, this is so weird, man! A lot of freaking screw on this thing. 12 of those screws. Little time, there's a ring here I got to install on both sides. And there's six screws on each side. Just for what? I am not sure. <laughs> but there's a big rod. So the dolly to put the landing gears down, maybe? Yeah, it's put the landing gears down. But man, do they ever have this strong? Like, well, you're wow. putting a 50 pound truck on top of it. <laughs> goes in the center here. It's metal. Here's a little bit of loose. So is that all plastic then? This is all ABS plastic, yes. Okay. Uh, ABS plastic, this is um, the orange, kind of orange-yellow one is um, uh, sheets that are cut. The gray one are molded. So different ABS, but still ABS. Yeah, but there's still tons of metal on it. Okay, so the, those one goes on the inside. Oh, that's going to be a pain to actually install. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, when you weigh the bag, it's it's a pretty heavy bag. But see, here again, on the bag, I do have kind of part bag A, part numbers on there. 
Mateus, how's it going? Oh, well, Mateus is here. Mateus, how are you doing? Doesn't he live in, I forgot, doesn't he live in France? I forgot. <laughs> Mass master, you could carry real logs to the fireplace with that thing. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> Mateo, he lives in France. Mateus, I'm not sure. Mateo actually is from Switzerland. Switzerland? Okay. Yeah. This thing's going to be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, your ridge? Yep. Uh, post you video. Go smoking? No. You could smell if it was smell vision, you could smell it, but <laughs> they're working on that, by the way. <laughs> right, Joe? That'd be the thing to do is uh, buy the kit, build it, and sell it for what, at least what you bought it for. But uh, you know, that ain't going to happen. Which kid is that? He said ten, he just like wants to buy a kit. He just would wish he could buy kits and buy, build them and sell them. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Eh? Build Tank. STCRC no longer offers free shipping? Question mark. That's 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 not right, especially when I can get uh, free shipping from Japan. Uh, in Canada, it's a little tougher, especially for big trucks. They do have free shipping on some stuff for a certain amount. But on like big traders like this, they're losing money. Uh, let's say you buy an X Max. <laughs> for, for you to buy an X Max and actually <laughs> ship it to you, uh, they would lose Damn. money on it. Damn. So on the big ticket items, yes, they are paying shipping. But if you buy enough of the small stuff, they do offer some free shipping. They do have some specials going on. But yes. Um, Is this in Canada? Yes. Oh, so they put their they put some of their monies aside to help you do that. <laughs> Not sure if it's aside, but it goes by weight. Yeah, I think it's uh the dimensions. Yeah, the bigger the box, the box should weigh a pound. But if it's huge, then it's going to cost more to ship. Like that mm -hmm. thing. That's Just like true. the bodies. That's why they say the bodies are so expensive now because the bodies take up a box that's, you know, oversized. Yeah, it's big. It's light, but it's big. It takes up a lot of room mm -hmm. in the truck or the plane or the boat. Or the train. The boat. Train. The train. The car. Train? The plane, boss. The plane. Little bus. The plane. The plane. <laughs> Twelve oh seven, ten millimeter. <laughs> oh, it got, got brighter in there. Robert said, "Awesome, Lyle." I'm trying <laughs> hard. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my phone on the charger because the the plug end is done. It's too dirty. It won't. I can't plug my phone in it anymore. So I got to use this charger that's. Uh, one of those you drop your phone on it's a disc or whatever oh, the, yeah. everything. I'm trying to yep. get the egg right, playing with it on the table. I'm doing my best. It's not working out well. I hate I to say blow it out, Lyle, but blow it out. Blow your blow charger out. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I've tried that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I tried toothbrush. I tried high air pressure. Yeah. It's, it's not working. It's not. No. You know what? Maybe you should try contact cleaner. Nope. Last time I did that on my phone, blew at the where the connector is. All of a sudden, a warning appeared on the on the phone. Says humidity warning. Humidity warning. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't use the contact cleaner. Uh, no, when I used uh, when I just blew on it. Man, that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. You should say, "Warning, yo." That's what Siri does. Do not warning, blow Captain me. Smith. Warning. <laughs> that was funnier in my brain that it did come out. Oh. Oh, okay. Warning. <laughs> warning. Uh, what's Robinson's name? Will. Will. 
Warning, Will Robinson. Warning, Warning Will Robinson. Do not blow your phone. Oh, they're done already, huh? Wow. Well, how the heck am I going to sandwich this together? Very carefully, I guess. How you doing, uh, Dirk? You feeling any better? Oh, was he sick? Yeah, he's got the crud. Crud? COVID. Oh. Uh. Wow. All right. <laughs> Was it maybe, maybe a two. Yeah. Boy, it was terrible. I had a good one earlier. No one said nothing. Yeah, that's what I said. Robert said, good job. And I was all, a 10, 10, <laughs> a 10. Wow. You, you even, it looks like you even trimmed your beard there, Keith. Oh, goatee still on. Uh, but Might it grow back in. But some of it looks like it's been trimmed, so. Not really, but I am hanging in there, huh? Just keep hanging in there, man. You get better. Man, that was tricky to get in there. Now I gotta find the hole. Uh -huh. I <laughs> no, so obviously don't you don't need to do the what that I, I know. Wow. That's why I just stopped myself. I'm out, yeah, no. <laughs> Some of them are just too easy. You just giggle at it. Gotta just put some <laughs> hair around it. So Lyle, have you talked to Aaron? All small holes should have hair around it. What? You talk to medic. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, that was tricky. Tricky, Dicky. Hey, Lyle, since you've moved to Ontario, did you have you talked to Medic yet? Oh yeah, I talked. I talked to him now and then. And then we have uh, what's that thing called where you can see the guy? Facetime. Facetime. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom. He's still going strong. Yeah, he's a pretty unstoppable man. Yeah, you know what? And I'm hoping you'll get to see him because you planned on doing that. Next summer. Good. I want to go out there for a trail run and uh, uh, it's not uh, the same thing. It's not King of Trailer Kings or what the fuck was it called? <laughs> uh, loading, loading Kings or Loading That's Wars. one. Yeah, it's not Loading Kings, Loading Wars anymore. He calls it something else. Good Guys Trailing or something like that, but... Uh, yeah, I want to go out there as a judge for that and just scream at those guys. <laughs> <laughs> scream at some new guys, right? Because he's got a lot of new friends out there now who are in the hobby with him now. Yeah, I made jokes before to Rookie that uh, he replaced us all. Like the, the black guy named Joe is like Joe's replacement. <laughs> and the dude who lost his teeth and likes beer and weed and all the bad stuff, that's my replacement. Then he's got the smart guy who does all the welding and electronics for him. There, uh, Mike, that's rookie's replacement. Like he replaced us all. <laughs> that's funny. But you know what? You're irreplaceable and you'll be seeing him next summer. So he hasn't truly replaced you. <laughs> oh, it could be a good time. Just give oh, it yeah. time. <laughs> hey, he's only 10 hours away. He's not that far. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. No, I drove 37 hours to get here. Well, it took me like 48 hours. I stopped and slept two hours, three times or something like that. I didn't sleep much on the drive here, but yeah, it's 37 hours of driving. And yeah, I didn't have a problem with it. I like driving. I, I wasn't sore. I, I wasn't fatigued from it. I stayed up and partied for like eight hours after I got here. I like driving. So yeah, 10 mm. hours is nothing. You know what? I, my friend, his daughter, 
He's in college. It was in college in Colorado. So from Ohio to Colorado, he did it in less than 30 hours. I have no idea what that means. Uh, it's, it's, you think it's, it would take longer to travel that far from here. I kind of gathered that part. Well, I don't know if that's a crazy number or a really good number or just above average. Actually, it's a, a crazy fast number. All right. So uh, which which RC are you running now, uh, Lyle? Well, I did buy a new one almost three weeks ago now, and I mm -hmm. haven't had the time or the place to really do a good unboxing because I can't do it in this shed because I don't have a table. And as you can see, I have really poor lighting. I got three flashlights pointing at me right now because I have poor lighting. <laughs> so I can't do it in here. I get Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays off and tank. I don't know if you're familiar with the weather in the past, but for about a month now, it always rains on Tuesdays and Wednesdays around here. <laughs> so I can't do it outside. So I don't have a place to do the unboxing and then do a comparison to a similar of it and then do a trail run with the two of them to show how how they do off-road. Wow, well, you yeah. by that lake. It's shit weather. Every time I have a day off of work, it's shit weather. Hey, well, you know what's unusual here what? is that for several years in a row, our Thanksgiving has been in the 50s. 50 degree weather, so I'm thinking it's around 12 or 10 Celsius or something like that. Yeah, but you have a house or an apartment or something to go to. I'm in a fucking shed. Uh, well, actually, I go out to the countryside for Thanksgiving out, out in seven, uh, Cuyahoga Falls. It's in the National Park out here, and, and so it's in nature. So which one have you taken out uh, last, uh, Brad? Which RC did you take out last? Uh, the little 18 scale. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, who was in here? What's up, Chris? I had a yep. crushing time at the young kids are in the chat, so watch your language. Oh, <laughs> well, he's not young anymore, he's a year older. Oh, that's right, he's Who's 13 now. RC84 film, Chris just had yeah. his birthday. Are not supposed to be like that. Yeah, I know. He's doing a lot of construction videos. That's okay. He does. Do what you like. That's what I always say. I, he's. I, I'd like to see him chase down. Uh, try to scare a beaver with one of those. <laughs> not sure if that's going to work. I'm yeah, so especially especially when they weigh forty plus pounds. <laughs> They 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 may look comp they may look smaller than that, but they're about as heavy as Molly. Yeah, they're pretty uh, solid animals. Yeah, they're a hardy animal, actually. You eat them? No, but uh, I I know people have, but uh, they're considered. <laughs> Another Brad fact, they're considered like the third largest rodent <laughs> in the world. They are. They're considered like the third largest rodent in the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Porcupine second, and then capybaras are first. Capybaras can weigh as much as a lar uh, as much or more than a large dog. I don't know about more. I think capybaras top out around 100 pounds. So I've heard that. I've heard, they, I've heard that they've hit 130, 150. Oh, sorry, Chris. 38. Okay. Are you I still here now? Friendly. It makes everybody. <laughs> there are people who have them as pets. Yeah. Those. I mean, you wouldn't want to be bit by one of them. They take your arm off. <laughs> uh, spin rush left. See a spin rush. See you later. Bye, Spin Rush. Good night, Spin. I like syllable names. <laughs> mm. 
Oh. You getting tired yet? Yeah. Who are you? It's been a long day. Oh, oh somebody's coming in. Chris. It's interesting that you have a doorbell noise now when people come in, Frank. Yeah, I turned that on a while ago. Oh, Chris. Ah. Hey, Chris. What's you up? Need to, you need to you need to scare uh, you need to take a construction vehicle and scare some beavers. Hell, man, these are nighttime beavers. <laughs> oh, they're back. Yeah, they're back. Oh man, In black. You got you got lights on construction vehicles. You could go down there and scare them. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's places in the world where you can buy silencers for 22. <laughs> Trust me, I'm telling you, if I had one Friday night, I would have got him point blank right in range because he was three feet away from me. And he just sat there and stared at you, didn't he? Yeah, Man, like he I, had, I had the phone on, I had the flashlight on, he comes swimming up there and just I tore up his dam there. So he come to see what I did to it. Yeah, so he's, probably he's, probably, you. he's probably swearing in his head at you. Yeah. <laughs> you non beaver lover. Like I had I had the a, a rake in my hand. I was like, should I hit this motherfucker in the head or will I get attacked? Yeah. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know what? Probably, <laughs> probably would have bit the rake in half. <laughs> so he, here's the uh, shaft for the front. It's kind of a <laughs> hydraulic or whatever it's supposed to be, but it's kind of interesting because you can actually pull on it and it actually locks. And then you just push on this little button and then it's like spring loaded. It comes right you in. See, that's the dry shaft? No, not the dry shaft. It's like I said, it's a shaft that it goes here. That's for the the arm that goes up and down. To so disconnect the, the neck. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No, not uh, to disconnect the neck. This neck actually doesn't disconnect. It's for the oh. legs, the front legs. Oh, okay. For landing gear. Yep. Kind of a landing, landing gear. Yeah. Radio actor scale has a message for you. Oh, I can't see the chat. The trailer's oh, walking. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lau, what you been up to, man? Not a lot. Working, paying bills. That's about it. Yeah, that's about me too. Oh, it's too bad because Justin was supposed to come in the chat tonight, which is the owner. Uh, da, 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 da. If it's showing zero for shipping, it's going to be zero for shipping. That big thing? Send them an email or uh, a chat. Um, don't know. It says zero, just buy it. <laughs> <laughs> because they do have free shipping on some stuff. It all depends what it is. Uh, and especially Boxing Day or Boxing Week sale, uh, they do have some special right now. They did announce that on their fi Facebook page. Oh, I, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, Japan has laws against uh, against fake things. Fake? And, uh, have knockoffs. Against oh, yeah. the law in the country, anything. What's a Boxing Day, Tank? Uh, Black Friday Day. Sorry, not Boxing Day. Black Friday Day. Oh, okay. It's it's Cyber Friday. Monday, man. Yeah, now it's Friday, Cyber Monday. Yeah. I just bought a bunch of batteries off of Amazon. Yeah, I just made an order too. Battery charger. Yeah. I got batteries, phones, ESCs, a new truck. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you have to have something to put it in, right? It's an RC four wheel drive kit, so it's probably not super big then, All right? So it might be free shipping. You're right, Lyle. <laughs> it was there. I can't not do it. It's a problem. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you talking? 
Who are you talking to? Cat. <laughs> Cat. Yeah. Vagina. Yeah. Right, that's not RC. Well, it could be. Ah, well, no. <laughs> well, we won't get in. Well, well, they do have some <laughs> remote. Con- they do have some remote control of those. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. Mm-hmm. Control uh, mice. Mice? We're talking about a totally different <laughs> remote control. Oh, I thought we were talking about cat toys that are RC. Um, no, we're talking about <laughs> cat toys. <laughs> That's it. I thought you were talking about cat toys RC. That would no. be a fun trip to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look. No, here, kitty, kitty, kitty toy. My lipo blew up. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that would be, no, your cat would, have, your cat would be burned badly. <laughs> oh, I got to watch my dog so they don't chew on my batteries. That's one thing for sure. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. You ever get that dog tank? The the big, uh, cho- uh, yeah, the poodle? big poodle, the golden yeah. poodle. Yeah, she's yeah. here now. <laughs> That room What's with name? you? You got a no, doodle? She, she's not here. Hey, you got a poodle? Yeah, it's a golden poodle. It's a big, giant, freaking poodle. Dog is is big. It's just as big as your dog, but not like longer legs. But the body's a little thinner. It's kind of cool. I don't think oh. they shed either, do they? No, no. It's like real hair. Real hair. Yeah. They are hypo hypo hypoallergenic dogs. Yeah, poodles are. So they do not smell when you put them outside and bring them in. Mm. I feel bad for the dog. It don't know how to smell. Uh, The dog would go nuts if he couldn't smell. They really rely on that sense the most. Yep. Yeah, always going blind. She mainly finds finds me by smell now there's times we go outside she starts tries to go into my uncle dennis's place or drives going to my mom's place if i'm over there i'm standing 10 15 feet from her i'm calling her and i'm clapping she doesn't know where i am and all of a sudden she gets my scent and she finds me molly's going blind see yep. her she wreck that's strange and sad yeah she's doing good though she's still mm-hmm. getting around she just needs to be 10 or 15 feet away from me before she knows where i am yeah okay. Well, they did put some grease on this shaft, so the shaft is greased. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They got like well, a little, gotta, pulley. yeah, like a little pulley here. I just installed. It don't so, work. It just rolls up. It just looks like it works, right? Yeah, it's to make it fake that you're rolling it up. Yeah. The landing gear handle, the crank. Yeah, landing gear crank. Landing gear crank. So now I gotta put these. Skid, skid, <laughs> The skid skis or skid plates? The landing gears down. feet. We call them landing gear and then the handle mm-hmm. for them to raise the landing gear up. Sure. Uh huh. You know, them truckers, they have to be precise about right. shit. That's the landing gear. Get it right, damn it. Yeah. Uh. You want to hear from Kevin? No, we asked that question last night too, Curtis D. We haven't heard from Kevin in a while. No. Nope. Yeah. I'm going to kind of throw a shout out to him. Hopefully he's watching, but hope he comes Oh, back. I saw that uh, Scott Zilla posted something, which I haven't seen him in forever posting anything. Scott Zilla, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I haven't heard some Scott Zilla. Yeah, I, I miss seeing him on the uh, on with us be, uh, like he used to. Man, these brass pushing are not fitting in there well. Darn. I don't want to start hitting on them. Yeah, I think his wife would have would have hit up uh Dennis, if uh, something bad happened, I would think. Evan? Yeah. Yeah. She she reached out to us before. Mm-hmm. 
letting us know he was all right. Yeah, I do, Dirk. I, I drive over the curbs. Sometimes you got to rub up against the curbs. We got a beaver in the house, kitty. <laughs> That's like my work partner who drives the truck. He's always running over the curbs. It's like, I'm thinking about Kurt right now. <laughs> we call we call the driver at work, work for North American Airlines. We call him Kirby. Because he always ran over the curbs. Yeah, he's always. And I was like, <laughs> you're running over a curb. No, I'm not. Boom. <laughs> What was that back there? Huh, huh. I swear, sometimes I think when he takes off from the stoplight, uh, from the yeah, from the stoplight there, the engine's gonna go more than the truck will. You <laughs> <laughs> wait for him to lose a hub. <laughs> You're gonna lose something. <laughs> yeah. Did that right used back. to do that in my Oldsmobile, Chris? Woo! Go nowhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, this man. He, he will he'll floor the shit out of the truck but when it comes to his personal car oh no he babies that thing <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, oh. I get that damn truck I have to sign a damn uh, my life, life insurance form <laughs> not that bad oh it's that bad I gotta get a hammer. Hammer time. <laughs> Just don't break out your disco pants. He hated that people called them parachute pants. He hated that. Hey, I'm sorry, I wasn't from that time area. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You were a little kid. He he was doing his music when you were alive. Yeah. Only when he had darker hair. I'm not mistaken. Damn it was less than, I think it was less than 30 years ago. For what? In the chat. Oh. Hammer. Uh, hammer time. I hear he's a preacher now. Who what? MC Hammer. Yep. People took advantage of him and stole his money. He worked for. Who he who worked for him? They took his money, man. Somebody's always taking somebody's money. Yeah, right, well, right underneath your nose. Yeah. Well, at least they give me a notice when they take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was making less money than the people who were supposed to be helping him. Sort of what happened to Barry Manilow. The Copa. <laughs> Lyle's phone must have went. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wasn't charging as much as you thought. Sean, what's up, Sean? Um, Is Sean in there? He hasn't rung the doorbell yet, so he hasn't come in. And Loctite and Virgin Skin don't go together. Ears burning. I say that every time it's WL Toys. What's wrong with WL Toys? Ooh, the foot. The they're foot. making better and better things, and they're going to bigger and bigger scales, too. The foot. The landing foot. The thing is a foot. Yeah, got yeah. another. Got an E-clip on that side, right? Got a C-clip on that side? Yeah, an E-clip I got to put on. Hopefully I don't lose it. They're a uh, brushless buggy. The one, uh, the, the, uh, the 10. Is it an E or a C? Darn. It's an E. It's, uh, uh, it does 40 miles an hour with a brushless system in it, so. What does the WL toy that uh, 14 410? Oh, yeah, it does 40 miles an hour with a brushless system in it that they sell. 
Nice. My my five fifty version of it, the the brush one, the thirty does thirty one, so it's yeah. not small either. Bigger and better, but my butt. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I should change this motor out because I know I'll be out there and it'll just burn up on me. So I'll run it till it burns up. No oh, brushless, they're having sales right now. It's a Tamaya. Keep running. Hey, it. My motor that I got recently from Japan, I got this. They sent it to me for free and it was less than 40 bucks. Yeah. Are you screwing around with me, Tank, or what? No, no. Just keep running it. It should be fine. It did heat up, but it should be. It should still be fine. Oh yeah, yeah I only check to see if it works. Minutes. Yeah, I gotta check and see if it works. Yeah, so. plug it in and see if it even works. I think I got a battery right here. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Yeah, if it cooled down and it still worked, keep it in there. All right, guys. This one is for his break. Oh, who's talking? Who's watching what? Quiet. What you watching? Uh, I'm watching RC probably some shorts. RC propaganda broke his sledge. Uh -huh. yeah. Robert's little uh thing popped up on my phone. It's, you know how they do the recommend recommend um yeah. videos, and his popped up his the crazy uh sky that he has out there. How colorful it is. All right. You heard that. Upper right strike in the background. <laughs> yeah, it still works. Nah, I was just talking there, our mass master. <laughs> it never said anything. I'm going to plug in that damn light. Yeah, next time you run it, Check if it's got if it seems to have less power. If it seems to have less power, that means you might have heard it. Then, yeah. then yes, change it. But if it yeah. still has as just as much power, don't worry about it. Yeah, take it out yeah. front and run that thing and see what it does. Yeah, I just won't do that many donuts. Just do yeah, just do ten, you know, instead of twenty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes you don't have to full throttle to hold the throttle full to do donuts. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I had it full throttle. I know that's why. I'm trying to find that. Joe said my stock 35 turn burnt up after it got slightly wet. Once had only been ran twice. So I put a RC four wheel drive 80 turn in it. It's so much better, way more slow and just as fast in third gear as the 35. Yeah, I got a 55 yeah. track. Not, uh, I mean, uh, what is that? Uh, axial. I had in there first. Oh, yeah. Sean, you win a timeout. Congratulations. Oh. That's Did you win. Time out first? There we go. No, I don't have control. Otherwise, I would have. Oh, no. Otherwise, I would have put him in timeout. Oh, darn. Uh, hold on, Sean. Let's see if I can <laughs> <do the iPad. laughs> huh. Huh. He put Queenie in timeout before. I, yeah, it's my channel, though. Uh, I, put, I put Sean in timeout, too, on my channel. You must be swearing up a storm or something. Oh, he's doing nice. a shout out. Shout outs. Oh, all the shout outs. Uh, Kurt, I want to take this uh, cover off again. Write something so I can put you as a. Oh, there you are. Okay, I found you. Da, 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 da. Add a moderator. So I just made you moderator. That's so you can... Kurt, read out all of Sean's comments. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> there, I just made you moderator. So you should be able to do it. Let me just cover off. You gave him a tool. <laughs> yeah, I gave you a tool. Yeah. Well, he's a tool anyway, so. Three speed, you can easily run a high turn.
churn <laughs> in the same in the semis. Yeah. Kurt don't even know anything. What is he saying about three speed in the semi? If you you can run a higher churn motor. Oh yeah. Three speed because you can get that top speed still. Yeah. Even with a 35 turn or a 50 turn, I'm sure it does over 10 miles an hour in third gear. Yeah, it was pretty fast with the 55. I got it from the axial. Did it seem like it was doing 10 miles an hour or more? Yeah. But yeah, that's amazing. A friend Shelby there. said, put the stock one in there. Maybe I can drift with it. So, <laughs> well, that's what you were doing, right? Yeah, he was doing donuts. Yeah, I, was, well, I was doing donuts. Yeah, I wasn't drifting, but yeah. <laughs> well, with the 55, it was doing donuts too Thomas, on gravel. You don't have any Traxxas motors? No, no. Would a stamp would would a uh, would a stampede a, well, motor fit in there? Yeah. I, I have a I have a five fifty twelve turn armor motor now from the, John. The Tractus motors are fast, actually, for a brushed motor. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, would it? I don't know. It wouldn't hurt the gears. I'm more worried about the gears too. Well, no. It's, I, I guess it'd be okay if you're not shifting them. See, I stop when I shift, so good idea. Yeah. I thought they I thought you were able to shift on the fly with those. You can, but if you but, have it full throttle, you might hurt something. Yeah, yeah something doesn't line up right. It's well, you, you, chew you them up. Like downshift. <laughs> you can still do donuts with an 80 turn, laugh out loud. Huh. And that's all just a plug. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I am plugging my horn and lights the other day. I'm going to plug them back in. Man, that's a long screw. How long is long? That's what she said. <laughs> said it twice, so it must be really long. Point twenty five millimeter. Oh, you've already yeah. I told you those were long. Yeah, uh, put another one. It's not too too complicated to take this motor off. There's only like ten ten nuts. <clears throat> More greasy though, because you have to pop the transmission in half. There's grease all over the place, you know. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Close. What about the driver? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's my saying. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else said that. <laughs> I say that what? shit all the time, Kurt. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Horn blows, but what about the driver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's the first person. I, I thought I made that freaking saying up, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I've been saying that shit from the 80s. <laughs> Damn, y'all are old. Yeah. <laughs> You're old. As a young guy. Yeah. You were born 85, 84? 84. Yeah, that's right. Because they oh, think man. 84. Man. That's you know how many girls I was making out in the in the library in high school in 1984? Oh, man. tell me about it. I knew a girl. <laughs> I, I, I knew a girl who I knew when she was in her early 20s, and now she's a year away from being 40. I was beating up kids in the schoolyard in that years. Those years. <laughs> you weren't conceived over Moby Dick, were you? <laughs> <laughs> That's when y'all had color to y'all's hair. Now it's just like <laughs> shit Friday. Okay, one leg is installed. Let's see it go in now. If I push a button, 
should go click. Hey, I still got color in my hair. I just had to dye it, make it that way. But, cool. Mr. Gray. Man, this thing is long. To a touch of gray just for men. <laughs> beard, beard and hair. Grecian formula. I use really the old lady blue chef now. Try to get my hair nice gray. See, Brad, I wonder how strong them. Oh, go ahead, Tank. Sorry. So this is how much of the screw that I have to screw in. Hmm. Yeah, better get screwing. This is odd. It actually comes out. That's what she said. <laughs> and it is on the right side. Can the other one come out? Come out, come out, whatever it is going. I guess it can. I'm sure that 360 servo, it should be strong enough to like do a line in and out for a servo, for a winch. For a winch? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Maka, I mean, to like winch up a plastic car or something like that. Sure. I think this would look badass. Get on, say hello. Y'all talking about me? Oh, did you see my 3D uh, bump mud flaps? Oh, did you paint those? No, uh, unknown RC. He printed me some dolls. Oh, uh, very sweet. Well, and then I painted them. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Chris. See you later, Chris. Later, Chris. All right. I was going to ask you, Tank. Yeah, them are all uh, octagons or regular old whatever. They're not Phillips, right? For uh, no, they're hex hex screws. I mean, is there any Phillips on there, or just all hex? All hex so far. Mm, that's good. I guess. I mean, I got a real good Tamiya screwdriver, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can feel it grip this the screw head. Isn't it yeah. amazing? I found one. I found one. Well, my stepdad ever has every kind of screwdriver you could imagine. And so he I had just went through his stuff and I got it. JIS stuff. I even put Tamaya on. Well, I had Tamaya on it, but it wore off. But yeah, it's this one right here. It's a tad big for the small screws. <laughs> Come on, you brat. I know you're hungry. I want food. If you don't give me food, I'm going to nip you. Uh, it's more like I'm going to make you bleed, you bastard. <laughs> but you still love that cat. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's got a bad attitude. Three, Brad, 3.30 in the morning, she jumps up on the... Um, printer and makes it go off i have to get up to shut it off it won't shut off like, damn cat because you didn't feed me <laughs> sounds vindictive on the cat's part oh she is very 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 Looks like you mean be making sure his legs work.
I got to making sure your legs work. Yeah, well, I one of the pins can't go in, so I got to bang on it. So I came back in my home theater to bang on it mm. because I'm all insulated and I don't want to wake the house. So. Oh. Uh, are your kids out of school yet? He's muted, but he's banging. So, what are you doing, Kurt? Reading the chat? Yeah, right now I just ordered some more stuff. Uh, I'm surfing. You say surfing? So I'm gonna surf in the web, man. Oh, he's surfing. Hey, is Sean still in the chat? I haven't seen him since I told him I was going to time him out. He oh, to... shit. You timed him out. Yeah. No, I didn't time him out. Uh, he, he left beforehand. I was going <laughs> to ask him if I didn't win his his drawing, if I could if I could just switch it over and give you the money and see if I can win on your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. pretty, that's how it works. That's pretty good, Keith. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's sold out already. I saw a post on Facebook sold out or something. It he could be. He, 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 had like, he had like 90% of it sold last <laughs> night on my live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Said if he, he was going to do it Tuesday if he was sold out. Yeah, he didn't have a... Uh, any of it sold till he got on my live and then they just went quick. Yeah. Robert and Dirk bought a bunch and I bought two. Yeah. I saw that this morning. I was gonna buy some, but I figured ah, I'll let somebody else win a prize, you know? Yeah. Plus I really don't want to paint the thing. Mm, I'll paint it for you. If 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 I win, I'd have I'm gonna have to sell another rig. I'll have to use the electronics from one of the rigs I got. I just save up, build that, build it. It's gonna take you a while to build it and paint it. Yeah, you can buy some cheap stuff, what's especially a, over the winter. What's a servo? I mean, ESC and motor is probably what sixty bucks. Yeah, I got. I already got a. I got a, a receiver and transmitter. I bought one for the shit kicker because I'm taking that out and I'm, I could run it. I could run the other one in that. Oh, yeah. I just buy an Amazon special servo. You're good to go. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. I have to need, a, need electronic speed control. Santa, I need some people to go. Can you make it happen? <laughs> Yeah, I want to run the shit kicker and the king hauler together, so I have to change that. You can get chains to fit those tires on the semi. Oh, Queenie, only tank can do that. Do what? Knock people off the chat. Well, you can now because I made you a moderator. Not if he's a moderator. Oh, that's true. That's true. The King Hauler runs over a 124 scale really good. And I wouldn't do that to Mass Master anyway. <laughs> Why? What do you do? Uh, I ran Queen, my, him and my 124 scale over a couple of times. Hey, you two get along. Get along or get a room, one or the other. <laughs> Robert's all shh. But the park, I went to the skate park the other day. Good for you. But there was, you know, RC Magnet. Damn kids. Yeah. Uh, I really didn't do too much with it, with the King Hauler, because they were like, you know. Can I try it? Can I try it? Yeah. No, they're riding their, their scooters right next to it. So it's like, oh, damn, okay. I have to stop. You know, so if they hit it, I can say, hey, you know, old man, your kid hit my tr truck, you know. Yeah, but you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Right. My order is confirmed. Woo 
I did get some video. Uh, I'll what just edit. What you buy? What you buy? What you buy? Uh, just some carbon fiber parts for my infraction. And Basher Queen. So then I go. Okay, okay Kurt, didn't you? Don't you have Traxxas too? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Did you want an XRT? No. I don't even have a um, X Max. Hey. Don't you hiss. They've done it to me again. Second second kit, they do this to me. What's that? Well, 11205, uh, 11, I need eight screws. I only have four left. Uh-oh. They're in a different There's, bag. No, I'm How looking many did at you the, use? I'm looking at all the other bags, and there is no more screws. You didn't even open that bag up yet. It just has four screws in it. No, I used other ones earlier, but oh. I, there's no other bags with other screws that are left over that I could have mistakenly put. For, yeah, the 11205 or whatever. That's okay. I, 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 I do have some uh, in my kit, in my other box of spare six millimeter screw. But it sucks that I have to do this. I know. Tell them to pay you back. You can tell me you'll, you'll get a screw kit from them. <laughs> part, oh. part of being a builder, you got to have those kits. Okay. Hey. What is Queenie? Uh, what did Queenie write? Oh, you deleted it? No. Held a review by RC Mass Master. Oh, she must have wrote something. Oh, uh, something. They were talking about something. She was spamming or something. Yeah. She was doing something the other night that Eric didn't like. I'll take Queenie's shout out quota. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not that bad what she wrote. She wrote, You all bring my nice side out. I'm told I'm normally a bitch. LOL. <laughs> well, that's nice of her to write that. Yeah. She's all so many rules. I know. It's not like mine, Queenie. I'm good with tank rules because I don't know how to read. So I just scroll down and press OK. You know, <laughs> whatever happens, happens. <laughs> yeah, if you do something wrong, as long as I tell you, you're good. I was say, I plead the fifth tank. I didn't read that rule. Sorry. You plead the fifth. You didn't read. You don't know how to read. So I can't read that rule. Yeah, I can't read that. Yeah. Now I'm screwing ABS, uh, screw into the right onto the ABS. I'm going to make sure I don't over tight because I'm just going to strip the pretty thing. Strip the ABS. Oh. <laughs> RC Mass Master doesn't like that I said the B word. Yeah, no. B? Yeah, the itch. Oh, B yeah, yeah, Queenie. Tank's got a lot more rules than I do. Yeah, a little bit. Because I had some weird people on my stream before, so no. <laughs> they still come on once in a while. The problem, Queenie, is you can say it when you're live. It's when you type it in the chat that, yeah. that it catches it. Nightbot catches it and throws it back out, or. Sometimes yeah. does or who do, whoever does. It's technically we're on Zoom, right? It's <laughs> yes. just her to YouTube. <laughs> That's correct. I'm surprised I timed her out and then shut shut YouTube off last night. So oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you left her in limbo. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't even type. <laughs> She couldn't even say goodbye to everybody. Her phone's like, not accepting phone calls now. What's up, Jake? How you doing, bud? Oh, Trail Creator RC sending me messages on uh, Instagram. My problem is I'm using my phone, so I can't check. He's in the chat right now. Yeah, I know. 
So I left the skateboard park and I went over to like a little picnic area and I'm like, well, I'm going to film over here. Soon as I start filming, the lady that's cleaning the stupid uh, men's room starts up a power washer. <laughs> like, what the? Oh. Maybe I'll leave that on my film. <laughs> Because I was watching it and I, you could hear me say, What the? F <laughs> See, a, a while back I got this kit from Screw Loose. Oh, so yeah. it's oh, a bulk cool. hardware case. And let me tell you, there's a lot of screws in this thing. You get them out of Amazon, thing? No, this was from Screw Loose. Uh, they, okay. They're not in business anymore. Uh -huh. But. Uh, yeah, there's other companies that actually has those. You can get them on Amazon. I've used several K different screws on my on my uh, on the tanker truck. Okay. I'm going to use screws bolted down that didn't come with the tanker truck. It just I can't find any of them holes. Anybody doing hard RC stuff should have one a little kit like that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. If if you're doing custom stuff or any or you need a, a yeah. screw kit or something. Yeah, you know, we're stripping yeah. out one or dropping one and can't find it, so Yep. I don't think I'll be doing the electronics tonight. Maybe I should do a lot. I bought one off Amazon that was like you have to make sure you get the right ones to use can't just go blindly and buy one like I did. Blindly. Blindly. Yeah. What are you talking about, Queenie? Everybody likes you. I like Queenie. Yeah. I like Queenie. Queenie. I like Queenie because she's far, far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to send her a Christmas present, but can't oh, yeah? afford it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now she's not going to let you alone now. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk's all I. <laughs> what Dirk say? Queenie's all if, if no one likes me, say I. Dirk put an eyeball up there. <laughs> 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 yeah, Mass Master just doesn't like anybody, so don't take offense to that, Queenie. <laughs> Damn cat jumped on the table, jumped on my chair, dunked his I have her almost all one over. of every RC. I have a small box of yeah, right. I like K and K. They're, they're a little pricey, but you can get the whole kit just for that car. And it comes with multiple screws for each, you know, if it calls for it gives you like enough to build five cars. Okay. I got a lot of leftover screws from the I do that too. I just have a big pile of screws too that I bought uh, I bought an eighteen kits. I, I bought an eighteen little box thing, you know, that you can close up. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought two of those. So I have thirty six things that hold spare screws. I was kind of scared for the leftover mm -hmm. screws and nuts I had from this King Hauler, but it's oh, really? running okay. <laughs> so. It's running okay. Well, oh, the wheel came off. Oh no! I, I the <laughs> Shiki, what's up, Shiki? As mostly stuff like the bars that go on the side and stuff. I didn't do any, you know, mural stuff and shit like that. Are you insulting me? <laughs> I wouldn't do that, Mass Master. Oh, they gave you an update for instruction. Updated instruction sheet. Oh, nice. As I say, do not put landing legs on until last step. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Corey? How you doing?
They have these big metal pins, and I have no idea why. What are them, the ramps, Tank? Yeah, those are the ramps. Yeah. And they're metal, right? Nope, plastic. No, they're plastic. They're plastic, too. They yeah. looked metal in the picture, though. Oh, it's because they were painted. Yeah. Yeah, you need to paint that thing. How come you ain't painting it? Because it's left for the guy who's putting it together, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, he's, inside put, the house. he's putting it together. No, I because meant the guy who's putting the mammoth together. The guy that's putting the mammoth together is going to paint the mammoth. And he's going to paint this thing at the same time. That's what oh, I said. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you're putting all those parts on. Now he's got to cover up all those metal parts and stuff. That is well, correct. If you want to know something, it might be modular, so he could probably take things off without a problem with, you know, what minimal he can. And just paint it all the same color. Yeah, you should be able to take those things off. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to paint it all green, right? Yep, military. Yeah, just spray it. It's just that there's this big shaft here. It's a metal shaft that goes in here. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what the heck it's going to be for or what it's going to be used for. It's kind of weird where it's sitting. You don't want to paint that. That can cause a problem. Yeah. I wonder if it's to what's sitting there. It might be some to keep the the ramps up. Yeah, I'm sure it's a, a a lock or something. Don't know. I'll put it together and see where it ends up. I got a whole bunch of washers I didn't use. What the heck? Shiki was making channel stickers. I know they're not hydraulic, but. They're probably hydraulic on the one to one. Them ramps yeah. are probably crazy heavy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, usually these are not hydraulic. Underneath. They do have a motor. They have a motor to put, bring them up and down, tight. Yeah, for this for this. Oh yeah. wow, that's yeah, cool. probably probably underneath, right? Yes. What is it? Just like it, it's just like a servo, eh? Yeah, it's a little. Mo little servo motor just the size of a servo well it's pretty big oh, it's, it's even right bigger yeah. i think it's the same size as a 124th scale motor huh. uh -huh. shaft is a little longer got a control board that's cool you probably i mean with the behemoth and that you'd probably what how many channels you think well, you need only one channel extra to bring up and down the ramp. Yeah, but don't that have no. lights and stuff? No lights on this trailer, not in no. this kit. You probably can put some, but in this kit right now, <laughs> it's none. Let's see if there's a light. That's a lot buckets. of wire for just one trailer thing. Yeah, there is like buckets here in the rear. Yeah. But that's not a lot of light buckets. Usually these trailers have a lot of lights on the side. All the way down the side, yeah. yeah, yeah. This one has nothing to put on the side. So it's only in the rear right now. There's two lights. It's buckets. military too, so. I guess you'd have to get some type of thing that sticks on there like reflective material. Yeah. Oh, that's why I said it's military. You want you don't want very many lights on it because they don't want to be seen. Right. Let's see if that I'll go to the next page to see if there's... So what do you think, Tank? Eight channel? Seven channel? Oh, for the for this truck? And the, and the behemoth. No, because you, you got four-wheel steering, so you can enable it, disable it. You get yeah. the steering... The, like, you can get away with three channels. Oh, okay. Because, because let's say you... Unless you want to turn on and off your light and have the horn... So you need two channels for steering, steering and throttle, lights. Right. You got your horn, and then you got your tra trailer disattached. That's that, probably five channels should be and good. Then your, five channel. Doesn't and have what you call it up and down? Dips. Tailgate. Yeah. The so ramps up six. and down. Does the mammoth have a locking and unlocking dips? I'm not sure. I swore it does. Probably. <laughs> no, I don't see anything in the instruction at the end of what that pin actually does. Oh, well. It's in there now. 
I told you to put it in there. Yeah, it's in there. It's kind of a, it's through here, through the top, and then it's got a little pin at the bottom holding it. Uh, that's strange. That's, that's that probably for the like RAM. Because the ramp goes all the way up, unless you tie a chain onto it later. Maybe it's to tie a chain and it'll look good. Yeah. I think there was a chain. There was a chain in the picture that when the ramp was all the way up, there yeah. was like an X chain going across. Is there a linkage that. though going to that? No. What do you mean linkage? Like for the servo. No, the well, the linkage goes on the. It's kind of weird the way it goes. It's on the. It's on the truck itself, uh, and then you got a like a little pulley system uh -huh. that goes. Uh, it's all on the side, so the ramp is there, but on the side of the truck, that's where the motor goes. And then there's two pulleys that goes onto the the foot of it. Either side of the. Mm. Yeah, that must be weird if they have to lower and raise the same time. Yeah. So I guess when I put it down, I'm going to have to make sure it's it's level when I put the belt on that both of them are exactly the same. Right now, the motors are already, already connected onto the board. But I'm going to have to make sure I read on it or I mark on it which motor is connected where. Oh, I see it. So it has like a, a pulley in the middle of the two ramps and there's a belt that goes around one of them and then they raise up and down like that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was going to waterproof the board, but it's going to be hard. I would, because it's got, that thing's going to run through water and mud. Well, that's going to be it for me tonight, I think. Yeah, eleven thirty-five. So let me go to my yeah. other deck and we'll say the goodbye to everybody. Back in a tick. Tick. Tick -tick -tick. Huh? Who just left. Oh, Frank, uh, second the tank. The first second tank. <laughs> Bye, Queenie. Bye, Queenie. Good night, Queenie. I heard that, Kurt. I heard tick. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I was ex exiting. So, uh, KBRC 13, why don't you say your goodbye? Uh, goodbye, Tank, and it was real enjoy uh, building that thing. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, Brad. Thanks for having an oddball day to do something. Well, I wasn't there last Thursday, so what the heck? Yeah. yeah. I was driving all I was, the way. I was at my friend's that day, so it wouldn't have worked for me. I had a five-hour drive driving all the way to North Bay. So, anyway. Uh, In back, 10 hours, right? Yeah. Curb. I mean, KBRC 13. Uh, Kurt. <laughs> I appreciate it, Tank. Uh, thanks to everybody in the chat. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, for staying with us. And ch thank everybody in the chat also. Um, it was fun tonight. So we'll see you next time. Until then, go charge up some batteries and go out there and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Cheers. See you later. It's going to be tomorrow.